Yo, what's good? Hope everybody's doing straight. Hope you're doing well. Thriving, not surviving. Got a good one today. Real good one. It's gonna be quick. It's gonna be a short video. And just pay attention. Really pay attention. And really understand if you wanna be able to pull this off. Understand that you gotta, you gotta level up and you gotta get strong. Today I'm gonna tell y'all what hurts the narcissist the most what is going to cause the most pain to, to them now before i even tell y'all what it is i'm gonna go ahead and say that you shouldn't be doing this to to hurt them but i know in at first especially if you're fresh out of a discard this you're, you're going to do this simply just to hurt them and it's not going to be for yourself i understand that but you need to work to make this about yourself and you need to understand that you need to do this for you because this is really this really should be for you because it gets to a point where you shouldn't worry about the narcissist and what they're doing. But the thing that hurts them more than anything, more than anything you can do to them, if you ignore them, no contact them, ignore them. That causes pain to them. It is a, it's a, a fucking sniper shot to their ego. It annihilates them. And it makes them just, it makes them feel like they are unimportant. It kills the false ego. And they just, they don't like that because you know they gotta, they gotta have attention. They're attention whores, all of them. All of them. They're attention whores and they love attention. Love it. Absolutely love it. And if you're their main or you were their main source of supply, their S tier, and you cut them off. And you just ignore everything they, they have to throw at you. Everything. You ignore the calls. You ignore the texts. You ignore everything. That will fuck with them. It'll, like, they'll fucking... You can feel the energy shift. You can feel it. You can just sense the pain coming from them. It's, they always, they're always in pain. But, like, truly, when they lose that best, that good supply... And that good supply ain't coming back. It's just that good supply's completely ignoring them. Oh man, they're taking all that out on their new supply. They're taking all that out on their new supply, all of it. And that's some sad shit because the new supply. Some sometimes, a lot of the times, it's not new supply. It's recycled. But sometimes it is new supply, like you were. And they don't deserve that. They don't. A lot of the times, you get with the narcissist and they start acting. They start, the love bomb dies down and they start lashing out on you. A lot of that is because somebody, somebody's cut them off. Because people cut them off all the time. And if whoever is around them gets it. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're always falling out with people. Always having some type of op. Always changing friend groups they have to changing relationship partners they have to they have no choice but to so like i said i know you're going to do this to hurt them because i'm telling y'all this shit hurts them and it's like there's nothing else more important than no contact you gotta understand that you must you're gonna do it out of revenge at first but eventually Hopefully, you change it and shift it into self-healing. Because when you go no contact, you truly heal. And you truly understand. You can learn a lot about yourself, too. You unlock your potential. Your, your goals start aligning. And you know what, you know the truth about what you went through. And you're putting pieces together. And the mist is clearing up. That fog is. And going to Hoover you, 100%. Actually, I saw a video today posted by, um, uh, what's his name, Mental Illness. He's a narcissist, and he said some narcs actually won't hoover you. That's true, but that is a very low percentage of narcissists. And I think that if you were their best supply ever, oh yeah, it doesn't matter if they're not, if they're not the type to hoover or not, they're going to hoover you. They're just going to. 
So if I, like I said, if you like I've said in previous videos, if you know you were their S tier, you need to be careful. Be safe. They're going to try to find ways to physically see you, even if you don't consent to it. So be safe. Be stoic. Be calm. And stay protected. Seriously. They're dangerous. They are. If you're dealing with the covert and you don't think they were, see, not all narcissists are physically abusive. Not all of them are. But I do know that if you push them and you you're pushing them away and you're they're losing control, they may they may still put their hands on you in some type of way. They may they I don't know 100%. I'm not a, a, a expert on this. I haven't even really known about narcissism for too long to be honest with y'all, but I've done so much studying so much of it and I went through something that was just straight evil and I feel that I'm really healing and getting over it a lot faster than what most people normally would because I have a really good understanding of it of understanding the narcissist that I was with and I know she's terribly terribly tormented with pain and sorrow and she hates everything in this world and a lot of that brings me closure, knowing that she is just on a different on a different type of pain that you can feel. And also knowing that my no contact is affecting her. It's clear as day. And I'm telling you that no contact works so well out of straight proof. I went through it, I've seen it, I know it works. Everyone, literally everyone who de who has dealt with the narcissist and got out of it and did it the right way tells you no contact works because it does work. It just does. Listen to them. Get strong and level up and get better. Heal up. Message my Instagram if you want to talk, man. I'm chilling. I, actually, I'd be hella busy. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But when I do get it, it'll probably be late later throughout the day if I do text start texting you and we're chatting back and forth but if you need to talk man let me know let me know <sighs> that's it for the video stay no contact stay strong stay stoic and keep your confidence rising your love for yourself has to continue to grow as always, love yourself until death. Deuces.